Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with an educational video on medical tourism. Today I want to talk to you about startup tools and resources that you'll need to grow your company. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you've probably seen that I talk about certification and accreditation is the most important part of starting a medical tourism company. And that's still the case. But today I want to talk about documents and tools that you'll need because having access to the right tools, resources, and documents is really important. And it's going to save you a lot of time and money when you're starting your company. Also, before I get into the short points today, please take a second to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you get all of our future videos on medical tourism. Okay, so here's a list of some resources and tools that can put your company on the fast track to success. The first resource is a facilitator business plan. So your business plan is going to outline your future projections and basically just give you a blueprint of where you want to go once you launch your company. So the second resource I want to talk about is a highly converting website. So you want to make sure that when you launch your medical tourism company, one of the first things you do after getting certified is setting up your website. And it's really important because your website is going to outline the services that you provide. It's going to outline what countries you work with, what procedures you focus on, and really just give your potential clients an overview of who you are and who your company is. But you want to make sure that you don't make the mistake of trying to skip building your website. Um, I've talked to a lot of facilitators who say, hey, I'm just going to set up my company on social media. And that's not the way you build a successful medical tourism company. You want to make sure you have a website in addition to having social media platforms that boost your brand. So the third point I'll go over is having contracts and partnership agreements. This is so vital to the longevity of your medical tourism company, as well as protecting your personal assets, as well as your company assets. So make sure you don't facilitate any trips for any patients until you have your agreements and your contracts in place. Also, if you want to learn more about contracts and partnership agreements for your company, I'm going to leave a link below to a video that I did that covers this topic extensively. The next thing you want to make sure you have in place is complications insurance. You want to make sure you offer all your clients complications insurance just in case they have an adverse effect to the procedure. And I also have a video covering that as well, which I'll leave a link to below. And the next point I'll cover is that you want to have a proven marketing strategy in place. So marketing is really important when it comes to the longevity and the success of your company. So you want to make sure you have a plan in place that outlines how you're going to market your company, your budget, and just really break down your marketing strategy for your company as you go forward and as you build a company. And then lastly, you want to make sure you have templates. And when I say templates, I mean everything from telephone scripts to email response templates. If you're going to do a task more than one time, you want to make sure you have a template in place for it. It really helps you and make sure you cover all the necessary points on the telephone call. Same thing with email response templates. There's certain things that you want to ask patients. There's certain questions that you need answered. And a template gives you an idea of what those are so you don't forget them. And it also makes sure that you're communicating the same message across each platform. And if you guys need any of these resources, they're all in our annual membership program, which I'll also leave a link to below. But thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.